Hello and good evening, everyone. My name is uh, Bill Kawakia Medeiros. I'm a council member representing East Maui. Uh, East Maui starts just beyond Kapakalua Road in the Peahi area, and it goes all the way through East Maui, through Kanai, Hana, Kipuhulu, Kaupo, all the way up, but doesn't include Ulupalakua. So I'm very grateful to be here this evening. Um, I was scheduled to be on Lanai and on Molokai today for two different events. Decided to cancel my trip so I could be here uh, with you in Lahaina. I want to thank the West Maui Taxpayers Association for this opportunity. And I want to say that it's been a challenge to be on the council, but it's been a learning experience uh, that I have enjoyed totally. It's very challenging uh, being on the council, but you have to give a commitment. And I've been in my office sometimes as late as one o'clock in the morning, reading, catching up with the material. Uh, when we got into office in 2007, we were elected in 2006, we took up projects that had 11 three-inch binders to catch up on. And that took a lot of effort to do that. But I want to thank you for allowing me to have this opportunity this evening. Mahalo. Thank you, everyone. First question. In many occasions, development precedes infrastructure development. Because of that mentality, we are faced with failing or lacking infrastructure. If elected, what will you do to change the current process? Mahalo. See, I want to say that um, I spent uh, 31 years working for county government. I know the operations very well. 25 of those years was with public works. Six of those years was in the fire department. And of course, almost four years now has been on the county council. We have seen our infrastructure, and I am the chair for the infrastructure management committee. And I've been put there both terms because of my experience in public works. But the infrastructure, I'll give you a little history. We got federal money back in the 1970s to take our cesspools and make sewer systems. The government gave us all the money we needed to install that infrastructure. Well, 30 years or more later, the government is not giving us money from the federal government to repair or replace those systems. So now we have systems that have totally disintegrated. When I was still with Public Works, we helped sewer, uh, the wastewater treatment group, dig out some pipelines along the main highway in Kanapali. They were wondering what was happening to the sewer. So because Public Works has the most equipment and operators, I sent my crew to help them dig out where the pipes were supposed to be. We dig out, we excavated the area, and what we found was no pipes, but just the shape of a pipe in the ground. The entire pipes had disintegrated throughout the years. So the sewer was going in the ground in a shape of a pipe. So that's how bad it got. And so we had to put temporary lines. But I think we need to catch up on our infrastructure uh, replacement and improvements. And we need to do that through the budget process and through the process of getting federal money and state money as much as we can. Mahalo. Thank you. Second question. Currently, tourism is a primary economic generator in Maui County. What is your view on that? And what new ideas might you have in changing or promoting that concept? Mahalo, Z. Well, uh, I have three college degrees. One is in hotel management. And I worked for the hotel in Hana uh, for many years where my mother also worked. Uh, my mother was the, one of the original employees for Hotel Hana Maui, which started in 1946. And so the main economic engine and employer for people in the Hana Kanai Kipuhulu area is the hotel. So we have always been cautious about trying to make that hotel always successful. That's not that easy to do when you're that far out from the mainstream of central Maui. 
However, people used to love to come there and still do because they like the laid back, isolated, beautiful environment that Hana offers. We at the community, we have gone through many hotel ownership changes in Hana. And we continuously work with the new owners so that we can forge a good partnership between the community and the hotel ownership group so that we can keep that employment for Han. But I think we have to diversify it when we look at the entire economy of our entire county. I think like investments, our economic portfolio should be diversified. We should not put everything into the tourism, even though it offers most of our employment and certainly many businesses indirectly or directly do well because they're associated with what the tourism industry brings in. So I think we should diversify by going into more high tech. I think we should do uh, a university system that does research to bring in research grants like University of Hawaii. And I think we should do many other things such as sustainable agriculture and uh, renewable energy industries. Mahalo. Thank you. Final question. Cooperation between the county, state, or federal levels are very important. A successful example of this is a mass transit system in Maui and the air ambulance program. What will you do if you're elected to keep these relationships strong? Mahalo well, Zeke. I think that relationship is very important. Uh, when we first got on the council, I came in with the group of Ms. Baisa, Mr. Victorino, and myself. And one of the first conferences that we're invited to and urged to attend was in Washington, D.C. Now, traveling from Maui to Washington, D.C. is a challenge. That's a 10 to 11 hour trip to get that far. And changing uh, gates at the airports, that's not fun in L.A. and in Texas. But we went there because that was what is called Naples National Conference. NACO is the National Association of County Officials. All the county officials come from throughout the whole United States and attend this conference in Washington, D.C. It's called the Legislative Conference. At that conference, we work to develop a legislative package. When we're done, it's walked over to Congress and submitted to Congress for their consideration. That's the kind of relationships that we have to keep with the federal government. And because of our uh, long tenure uh, congressional team, that benefit is even greater because they've been there so long. And we work with our Congress people when we get there and we meet with them and we provide them the legislative package from the NAPO conference. Even with the state, I've been associated with state legislature for many years. Uh, I have been a political chairperson for state senator that represented our canoe district at that time, the state fifth senatorial district, which included part of the Big Island and East Maui. Working with Senator Solomon, I learned a lot about how we can cooperate between state and county governments to get more things done, including financing. Uh, at that time, Mamori Yamasaki, a longtime senator from Maui, was the Ways and Means Committee Chair. He brought a lot of money to Maui County because of his tenure and his position. Thank you. Okay, Bill, I'm um, going to give you two minutes to give any closing remarks you may have. Mahalo Zee. I just want to share with you and I'm going to use my paperwork as a reference because when I uh, came this evening, I was told we just were going to give a five minute speech since our opponent might not be here. But the format has been this and it's been wonderful. But I just want to say that I was brought up in Kanai, Hana of East Maui. My mother's from Kanai, my dad's from Hana. Come from large families. My mother, 11 children, my father, nine. 
So we're just about related to everybody in East Maui. I attended Hana Elementary School, the Kamehameha Schools on Oahu, United States Air Force Aerospace School in Colorado, University of Maryland in Italy, University of Hawaii, uh, both on Maui and Oahu, and the University of Phoenix. For me, I think education is a very important part of working in the council. It's complex, there's a lot of decision making, there's a lot of problem solving. My education has helped me. So I have three college degrees, one in hotel management, one in liberal arts, and one in business administration. I'm also a military veteran. I enlisted during the Vietnam War era to serve my country. Uh, I was in the Air Force for four years during that time. Came back, used the money from the uh, Air Force to attend uh, college, go back to school, and went home to Hana to work. I worked for her county government for 31 years, 25 in public works, six in the fire department. My first fire department station was Lahaina, and I lived in Hana. So I drove from Hana to Lahaina to come to work, and I left Hana 4.30 in the morning to get to Lahaina at seven in the morning. So you talk about commitment, that's commitment, that you're gonna to want to drive that far to go to work. But I loved coming to work in Lahaina. I also was in charge of Lahaina for Public Works Highways for 20 years. I know this district very well. And it was through that experience that I met a lot of people in, in uh, the Lahaina area. But I think what's really important for me at this time is just to tell you that the things I was able to get done was to facilitate the start of HANA dialysis services, which we did not have. And I also facilitated a ban on GMO tariff countywide, Maui countywide. And I also secured funding for a HANA fire truck. Right now I'm working on affordable housing for seniors and a daycare center with 100 acres of land donated by Hana Ranch to the community. I'm working on expanding Pahani Mai Park, including a skateboard park for our children. I secured $250,000 to match state funds to build a community center in Naihiku because their old one, which was a school, burned down. So there's many more things I'm working on, but I just wanted to share as much as I could with you. Mahalo. Thank you, gentlemen. This is my county council candidate and current council member, Bill Mateus. Thank, Thank you, Steve. And don't forget, November 2nd, please go and vote. <laughs>